All right, guys, good morning. Coda Boy 32 here. Check it out. Sitting on my back patio with my lovely wife who happens to be sitting right over there having a cup of coffee. This mug was given to me by my mother. Actually, I inherited it, but it's always a special memory. If you have it, you know, your parents are gone. It's always cool to have something that brings you memories of them. But in any case, today is Father's Day, and my son and I are going shooting because I have given him or passed on this Savage Model 89 Single Shot 22. And it is a very unique firearm and it's perfect for someone who's young starting out shooting. And I intend on getting him started early. So we're gonna go over to the range and shoot. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But in any case, purpose of this video is I wanted to talk to you about an email that I received from a viewer just uh, last night. And uh, Leonard and I have been going back and forth on a couple things and some of the issues that he's having to endure up there in the Gestapo state of New Jersey. You heard it. So Leonard wrote to me, he said, man, the state troopers are coming to the house to seize my guns. And when somebody says that to me, uh, I sometimes I think to myself, what exactly are you talking about? So he sent me the exact details and basically in a, in a copy of a letter that he is sending to, I guess, one of his state local state representatives. And also, he's sending this to the NRA, and I would really appreciate if the NRA would <laughs> read this because it's happening. I vetted the letter. They came to his house to seize his firearms under the guise of this new red flag law in a very unjust manner, in a very Gestapo, in, in, <laughs> in um, trying to intimidate this man. Okay, so I'm going to read to you the letter that he's copied me that he has sent to Mr. Bach. Here we go. Uh, just bear with me on my reading. I'm, I'm old. All right, Mr. Bach, sorry to bug you. Last night, the state troopers out of the Hamilton barracks came to my house. They intended on seizing my firearms. What took place yesterday is as follows. My 13-year-old son had a conversation at school about school shootings. He was stating how the school security was trash. He then discussed the vulnerabilities he sees in his school. They then discussed what his plan of action was and the routes of egress in the event things got bad. A third student, and this is all it takes, is a third student overheard parts of the conversation. That student then told his mom. She freaked and made accusations to the school staffers. The school called the troopers. I was at work when they hit my house. My wife was home with my three boys. She was under the effects of Benadryl because of her allergies. That's perfectly normal. She stalled the best she could. The troopers used intimidation tactics to enter my home. Never, ever allow anyone to enter your home without a lawful search warrant. And even still, I wouldn't even try to stall anyone from going into my home without legal representation or justification. They intend, all right, so they stated they were there for my guns to search my son's room and conduct an investigation. My wife frantically called me. I left work, raced home to deal with them. They immediately approached me and started trying to intimidate me. This was a key element, and I'm very glad he did this. I kept 21 feet from them at all times. The female officer, while talking to me, had her hand on her pistol no less than three times, and the male contemptuously plays, played with his handcuffs. I made it clear that I will not surrender anything to the state regardless of the price. They tried to play like they were would babysit them, and then I might get them back. I refused several times. They then pushed the issue about the search. I said no repeatedly. After a while, my wife relented. Mind you that it is now 10.30, 11 p.m. at night. They did this in the middle of the night. And I don't know about you, but I'm like old, the old Geritol kind of guy. I like to go to bed about 9 o'clock at night, unless I'm on Rich's chat. But this is the thing. They are coming in the middle of the night. They're trying to intimidate, and they're trying to force their deal on you. And I can see that in Maryland, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Massachusetts, California. There may be a couple other states that I may have missed, but I can't see this happening anywhere else where actually the law enforcement in those states have been indoctrinated into this mind frame of anti-Second Amendment and the right to bear and keep and protect yourself with a firearm. They made calls and stuff and the outcome is now my guns are stored elsewhere and I have no access to them, but neither does the state. 
they also used intimidation on my parents when we dropped off my guns. Why did somebody have to do this? When they left, they said my kid could not return to school and they would be back to get my guns. My son made no threats to any person, any place, or anything. He is no threat to himself or anyone else. I spoke to Dan Gorvich and Mark Cheeseman. They both said that this warrants your attention. I know and I know I, know I am a nobody, but I don't want this to happen to anyone else. So now what do I do? I need a shotgun for hunting. This helps feed my family. I don't know what options I have other than to resist go to jail. This is the sad state of affairs that we have in certain states in this country where people's rights are being skewed and taken away from them on a minute basis. Chip, chip, chip. Mr. Murphy, I hope you are so proud of yourself. Now I can understand if a kid walks into school and goes, I'm going to shoot this place up. That's a problem. But what we had here was an issue where a kid was merely stating that your, your security measures here at the school suck. So he took it upon himself to make a plan and then an overzealous administrative person made the phone call. And I understand people go, well, the rights of my, the safety of my child overrides the rights of your Second Amendment. Uh, okay. I, I will assure you that anyone who supports the Second Amendment and supports our rights wants your kid to be safe as well. I don't know anybody that I'm friends with who wants anybody's safety to be compromised. But I will tell you this, this is the state of affairs. This is confiscation, this is an intimidation, this is the government showing up at your door saying we want your guns because we now have reason. Probable cause is what they're looking for and it's BS. Malicious, probable calls. I don't expect anything less from New Jersey, honestly. I've heard about you guys, and I've heard about Maryland. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Leonard, we hope and pray that you get out of this mess. We really do. Please let me know if there's anything that we can do to help you. I hope the NRA gets on this, the Gun Owners Association of America. We need to get the guys over there in New Jersey involved in this thing. Unbelievable. Guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free because freedom begins with educating your children at a gun range properly and showing them how to operate the firearm. Let's go to 132.